Hey everybody, we're running Hal's engine today. This is his L head. 290, Dana 18, and overdrive. We're just starting to come up to temperature. I already had break-in oil in here, broke the cam in. Uh, I've shown that a bunch of times, anybody wants to see that, i got plenty of videos on that. Right now we're just letting it come up to temperature, I'm going to set the carburetor, I'm going to set the timing. Uh, what you're looking at here is a new carburetor, uh, that's from Joe's Motor Pool. Uh, so far it seems to be very nice, it's responding very well. Um, I don't have any trouble with that, uh, but it's just, just starting out, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, I also was not able to rebuild Hal's uh, distributor, that is also a Joe's Motor Pool distributor, uh, but I did put the Petronics in there, got the epoxy coil on there, and you can hear it's light on pretty nice. Okay, Hal, here is your generator. I got a light on it. Let me see if I can get that light. Okay, just so you know, uh, I stamped them, but just so you know, this is your armature, this is your field, and there's your ground. That's how you're going to hook your wiring up. Armature, field, ground. Okay, your distributor is set. Um, you shouldn't have to fuss with that. The idle is at 700 RPM. When you hook up your air cleaner and stuff like that, you may need to adjust the carburetor just a tiny little bit. Uh, uh, I like the idle. Um, it's taking fuel real well. Everything is good. Um, transmission transfer case are full. I'm going to give you, I'm going to send with your engine, I'm going to send you a little bit of extra transmission lube. Uh, when you get it in the frame, because I don't know exactly where I am in this frame right now. When you get it in the frame, check the levels. Um, I made sure I tipped it to get some in the overdrive. But check your levels and top them off if you need to. You shouldn't need much. Um, obviously hook your exhaust up and stuff. Uh, like I say, the carburetor is set 95% uh, of the way. You may have to tweak it just a tiny bit. Uh, have you set for a lean vest idle there. Um, your plugs are nice and tan. It's burning correctly. Uh, fuel pump is working fine. Carburetor is fantastic. And like I say, uh, it's a new carburetor, new distributor. So you shouldn't have to fuss with those. Try and get you in here. You do have an oiler right there on your generator that needs the attention regularly. I oiled it. It's ready to go. You pull this guy back here. You have an oil hole there couple drops um, every now and again of oil and I took the break-in oil out of here and what's in there now is Shell Rotella 1540 there's five quarts in there so you, uh, you're you're good to go as far as uh, lubricant in there it's gonna come full of oil and I'll be back with you in just a little bit Okay, Hal, on the back of the engine, you see that oil port. That's where we had the oil pressure gauge hooked in. Uh, there's a plug in there now, and that's where the oil line goes for your gauge. Um, if you're going to run it at your place, uh, hook your oil gauge into there. And your water temperature gauge right there on that side of the block. And with a new engine, um, you know, you may want to run it if you want, but don't just let it sit there idling. Uh, best thing for a new engine is to, um, I mean, obviously, if you want to run it just to hear it, go ahead, but um, don't let it sit for a long time. Best thing is just to get it out when your Jeep is done, run it, put a load on it. Um, an engine, a new engine with no load on it is a, is a bad thing. You want those rings to seat, so, you know, take it out and drive it is the best thing not like a, a maniac but um, 
you know, vary speeds, 25, 45. Uh, back down to 25, 35, 40, you know, just around town driving. Get that thing broken in. And uh, like I say, don't let it sit idling for long periods of time when you get it to your place. So we're working on it now, trying to get it on a pallet for you. And I'll get it shipped out as soon as I can. And uh, I'll keep you posted on what's going on. But uh, engine's running. Uh, everything dialed in perfectly. So uh, it's going very good. Okay, Hal building you a crate here. Pile of old parts there. Uh, you sent your air cleaner with the original batch of parts for some reason. I'm sending that back to you. In that box, you got all your motor mounts. This box right here. Got all your motor mounts, your transmission mounts, stuff like that. Uh, it's easier to ship without those attached. Got some straps holding the transfer case down. Got a strap over the motor. I got blocks holding it up. It's super solid. Here's your old ring gear and clutch. Um, everything I used on here is is in there. Uh, so I'm gonna get the top and the sides on and uh, get this ready to go for you. Okay, everybody. Here we are with Hal's crate. We got a fully enclosed crate and shrunk wrap, and I will check out some freight rates for you, Hal. I'll let you know what that's going to be, and we'll get that down to you, I imagine, sometime next week. Um, got some painting to do tomorrow, so I will get on that next week, but uh, I'll get everything figured out, let you know where you're at. Okay, so safe and sound in there, well packed, strapped down. Um, unless they get really abusive with that should make it to you in one piece so uh, there's Hal's engine for you running everything is great um, temperature rock solid at 180 oil pressure at idle 40 pounds and a good running engine uh, distributor and carburetor wise I'm very happy with the Joe's motor pool stuff if anybody's wondering I uh, haven't had a, a vehicle on the road but um, just the way it fired up and dialed in, uh, I'm sure it's a good carburetor. I know a few guys were wondering about that, and uh, this was my first startup with a uh, Joe's Motor Pool carb, so I wouldn't have any hesitations about buying them again. So, I'm going to end this one here today, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.